Thank you. Member Statements. The member for Oshawa. Good afternoon, Mr. Speaker. Welcome back to the Legislative Assembly of Ontario. I know it has been almost five months since we were last here, but I, for one, am glad to be back advocating on behalf of my constituents. During the prolonged hiatus from this place, I met with many constituents and organizations. I did a lot of listening, and I am bringing their voices and concerns back with me. I have every faith that many of the members of this House would have also gotten the straight goods and maybe an earful from the folks at home. I heard loudly and clearly from parents of children with autism who deserve needs-based funding. I met with parents of adult dependents with diverse special needs who are confined in hospitals and are unable to be appropriately housed by this government in this province. In Oshawa, we have tent cities, shocking child poverty, and an opioid addiction crisis that has, is being faced by communities across the province. This government must recognize that this crisis is a health epidemic and approach it purposefully and strategically to ensure all Ontarians have the support that they need so that they can be well and safe. In Oshawa, we have workers facing a very uncertain road ahead. Children are heading into destabilized academic futures. Community members with financial needs are struggling to access legal support and social programs due to cuts and freezes. Low-income seniors who qualify for your promised dental care can't get it because they can't find it. People are concerned about a changing climate and a government that won't commit. People worry that their health and long-term care will continue to be eroded. This government cannot continue to cut and freeze and undermine it must invest. And I hope over this next session we will see this government show some compassion, take some responsibility, and commit to make things better for all the people. Thank you, Speaker. Member statements, the member